Well, I was working in munitions at the time and I was in the army inspection branch and there was an advert in the paper. So I was said, told, why don't you answer it? So I, day off, I went up to answer it. I left my mother sitting in Victoria Square and up I went. And I was interviewed and taken through to an office and given exams and some two hours later, I was allowed to go. I was, had all the tests and everything else to join the job. And so on September the 24th, 1944, I joined the Women Police. And I was taken around to the Commissioner's office where I was sworn in. And Commissioner John said to me, Miss Richardson, you're not thinking of getting married, are you? I said, sir, I don't know what's around the corner. And that's how I joined the Women Police. Well, I started at the bottom. I did cell duty, looking after the female prisoners. It was quite interesting sometimes if you got certain prisoners in, you had wonderful concerts downstairs. And then uh, from there, I did country duty, Wyala, Mount Gambier, Port Piri, you name it. And then I was seconded to go to Darwin, to commence the women police in Darwin. And that was in 1960. And, and about 18 months later, I came back. And there, that's when we started to take exams as far as the women police were concerned. So I took my exams and thankfully I did pass my sergeant's exam. And that's from there. I worked on and on and got to the rank of principal of the women police. And then I retired in September, uh, in March 1979. Oh, it was wonderful laughable sometimes, but we had to wear fashions of the day, hats, gloves, handbags. Even though we patrolled for two hours, four hours, we still had our heels a certain height. We were just the fashion of the day to join in anywhere. <laughs>